Snooker Under-16 World Championship in Tumen invited players from 12 countries. The geography of the tournament was really vast. Many of them are truly exotic for Russia, Australia, New Zealand, Pakistan and so on. Everyone happily came to the hospitable Tumen land. Here in Siberia you can find a big attention to a Snooker World Championship Under-16. For sure from the side of the International Billiard and Snooker Federation in the first row. Uh, we arrived uh, on Saturday and so far the welcome has been fantastic. We met some uh, very nice people, everybody is very friendly, the weather is good, uh, the facility here is fantastic and I look forward to uh, a great event here in uh, Chumin. Favorites were identified immediately. For example, three consecutive victories in one day during group stage were won by Antoni Kowalski from Poland. The young Penn definitely came up for the tournament in great shape. But after that he was still no hurry to talk about long-term prospects. I'm not thinking about it, but I, I'm thinking about to win more, more matches, next matches. I'm not thinking about medals. But I want to get some medal. It's, it's my goal. And now I'm concentrating to get out of the group on the first place, to get um, maybe wor worse opponent in last 16. The Egyptian Mina Avad proved himself to be one of the gold seekers. In one of the matches, the African managed to knock out exactly 100 points in one frame. The results of Grandmaster. No. Like the best result uh, in the same range in Egypt, but here I, uh, I try to ma make it better, I try to play better, and in the end it, uh, it takes experience only. But okay. Snooker is so popular in Great Britain, that's why here in the heart of Siberia English players performed well. They proved their status by a good game. Michael Robert Joyce won another match less than one hour. For a snooker it's a real cool. I just take one match at a time, one ball at a time and just... I don't, I don't mind who, what opponent I have, I just treat them all the same, all, with all the same respect. I feel, I feel like I could go on to win but... I need to up my game a bit. I need to play a lot, uh, a lot more better. Maybe a few more, a few more safety shots. I've been going for a few balls because I've been been able to get away with it. But against the top players, I need to change my game. The head coach of the Russian national snooker team, Andrei Vil, who celebrated his 60th birthday at the tournament in Tumen, agrees with the idea that the level of Russian snooker is gross. All of my foreigner friends congratulate me and say that, that I am not 60 but 16. Honestly speaking, Russian snooker already getting closer to the general high level because the sport is quite new for us. Relatively, what is the 15 years in comparison with the 150 history of this sport in Great Britain or India? Representatives of Australia have come a long, long way to Tumen. Between Brisbane and Tumen, more than 12,000 kilometers. Joshua Trift in a group stage was stronger than Mikhail Politaikin from Tumen. Um, so obviously it's a long way away. So we went from Brisbane, I live on Queensland, went from Brisbane to Dubai, Dubai to Moscow, then Moscow to Tumen. And, uh, how much time? If we went like in one go it would have taken about 30 hours, but we decided to stay in Dubai for two nights, so it was, it was all right. Yeah. A trip to Siberia was worth it for many reasons. One of them is the technical innovations of the World Championship. So for the first time in the international history of this game, the technology of smart snooker system was tested. An assistant to the referee, a kind of football VAR in billiard sports, automatically counting score, player mistakes and much more. The system was brought to Siberia by Dong Lian from China, who has already successfully implemented his snooker brainchild at home and enters the international arena. Quite, quite simple, actually. Um, it's an uh, it's, um, AI-powered algorithm behind it. Mm -hmm. So basically you have three parts of the system. The camera, which takes, uh, takes videos of the, the table all the time, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a box 
basically computer analyze the data from the video, uh, the camera and then produce the results to the TV screen, as you can see. Yeah. We've been providing uh, match services for a lot of Chinese tournaments um, uh, right now already. And uh, we've been, the, the, the system is actually used in every day in many clubs over in China, or also in Malaysia and in South Africa. Mm -hmm. So it's the first time in Russia we're providing uh, match services for, for those tournaments. But uh, I think uh, in the in, uh, next month we are going to Myanmar and maybe, possibly, if everything goes well, we probably provided the service in World Championship uh, in Turkey in October. Russian players performed well. This is especially valuable in the main part of the tournament. Three Russian players came through group stage. Two of them, Artem Istomin and Andrei Karasov, went to last eight round. When we're just starting to hold world championships in St. Petersburg, it's good if we had one person in playoff. Three people is, of course, the big result. And it's nice that our youngest participant in the championship, 10 year old, he plays and leads. Neither Joyce nor Avat reached the semi final. The guy from Russia did not reach this stage too, but girls were able to do it. One of the semi finals was completely local to human. Sofia Bildenko and Alexandra Ribina gave out a match lasting four and a half hours. Sofia went on, having overcome her class friend without much pleasure. It's a pity anyway. I wanted to at least take a second place. Last year I was the third too. But basically it's a good result. I played at the semi-final. Another Russian participant shares the bronze with Alexandra. Ksenia Zhukova from St. Petersburg in the semi-final lost to the Albina Lishuk from Belarus. I was very worried and because of this hit sometimes didn't work. To be honest, I could play better. Perhaps I didn't have enough strength. And that's why I lost. At the same time, in men tournament, Europeans were systematically going to the final. And it just so happened that both of them had Asians in their opponents. The 12 years old Hungarian Bushu Rivesh quite confidently dealt with the Pakistani Umar Khan for one. And Anthony Kowalski from Poland with the same score conquered Rangvir Dugal from India. The representative of the second largest country in the world reacted with defeat with a truly calm. Yeah, but I was not expecting this. But thank you, Russia, for, for giving me this opportunity. And now the time has come for final. Men final played much faster. Both Kowalski and Rivesh in the manner of the game are risky guys. The pole was 1-2 behind, but then he proved that he was still stronger. 4-2. Antony Kowalski from the first day showed that he was ready to take this tournament. Uh, I'm insanely happy that I won finally some international tournament. I had a hard work on my, on my training table. For the last two months I played every day for four or five hours. And hard work is a good thing. Albina Lishuk and Sofia Beldenko gave an incredible match, an incredibly equal. Let the sparkle of playing beauty in it to be less, but the intrigue lived to the last. Luck smiled at the guest from Belarus, 3-2. I'm very happy, of course, very worried, especially when I hit the last ball, but everything turned out well, and I'm very glad. It's nervous anyway, hands are shaking, concentrating is very difficult, especially considering that there are a lot of people around. I could have won, but the last play didn't work.